everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in this video we are going to have the part 2 of 0 by 1 knapsack problem with least cost branch and bound so if you have not watched my previous video the part 1 uh, watch it and come back to it because we are in the middle of the problem uh, because that video is becoming longer I have uh, decided to make part 2 of this one so yeah and if you are having any comments I mean any doubts or any comments let me know in the comment section so let's get continue continued with the video so in the last video we did till here right so we have decided to expand node 4 so node 4 is expanded into node 6 and node 7 further ok so let's see how do we expand it so 4 5 is done so next is 6 and 7 so node 6 and node 7 now let's calculate upper bound and lower bound for both node 6 and node 7 and then decide what we have to take so till now what is our path x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to 1 that means you have to take x1 for sure x2 for sure and if there is more place then you will think about next things so here our condition is x3 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 0 ok so now let's calculate the lower bound for node 6 so for node 6 for node 6 what is the condition look here x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 1 so x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 1 right that means you have to take x1 x2 x3 3 for sure and if there is more place then you can take x4 otherwise you can leave it ok now let's do lower bound first in lower bound fractions are allowed right so what is our first element x1 x2 x3 pakka so first element second element third element pakka that means 2 for sure so 13 is remaining in knapsack 4 then 9 is remaining again 6 3 3 by 9 so now what will be the least uh, lower bound let's write the profits also minus 10 minus 10 minus 12 and minus 18 so it will be minus 10 minus 10 minus 12 and minus 18 times 3 by 9 which is minus 38 ok so lower bound we got as minus 38 now let's do upper bound upper bound means what same these three you will take fraction you will not take that means 2 4 6 ok so minus 10 minus 10 minus 12 so upper bound will be minus 10 minus 10 and minus 12 which is equal to minus 32 ok guys don't think that I'm going faster because since I have explained everything in detail in the part 1 I am just trying to make it little quicker for you otherwise it will become very long and obviously you will watch before the exam day itself so I don't want to waste your time ok so for node 6 what is the lower bound minus 38 what is the upper bound minus 32 let's write the values so upper bound for node 6 is minus 32 lower bound for node 6 is minus 38 ok done now let's calculate for node 7 what is the path for node 7 x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 0 sorry x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 0 right how are you coming to node 7 from 1 to 2 2 to 4 and 4 to 7 right so x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 0 let's do the same x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 0 that means you are taking you are taking x1 x2 but you are eliminating x3 and if there is more place then you can accommodate x4 ok so what will be the lower bound now so these are our values right uh, yeah now I think you can see it more properly yeah so x1 is equal to 1 that means you can take x1 2 so 13 is remaining in knapsack so 4 x2 is equal to 1 yeah so after 4 9 is remaining x3 is equal to 0 that means you should not take x3 you should not take 6 if you don't take 6 how much is more remaining 9 so 9 yeah exact 9 you have so you can accommodate 9 over here 
okay so now let's write the profits the profit for x1 is minus 10 for x2 is minus 10 and it is minus 18 over here okay so you get minus 10 minus 10 minus 18 which is equal to minus 38 again okay for node 7 we got the lower bound as minus 38 right correct now let's do upper bound upper bound is same as it is you will get like this only because since there is no fractional value so you can take 2 4 9 as it is and minus 10 minus 10 minus 18 which is equal to again minus 38 right so lower bound is minus 38 upper bound is also minus 38 for node 7 so let's write that so upper bound upper bound for node 7 is minus 38 and lower bound for node 7 is also minus 38 now compare these two nodes among these two nodes which is having the lowest lower bound see lower bound of 6 is minus 38 okay lower bound of 6 is minus 38 and lower bound of 7 is also minus 38 both the lower bounds are same right when lower bounds are same you have to compare the upper bounds okay compare upper bounds so since both are same you have to compare these both values among minus 32 and minus 38 which is smaller minus 38 since it is negative don't get confused minus 38 is smaller okay so you can kill node 6 here and you can go with node 7 because this is having lowest upper bound why we are comparing upper bounds because lower bounds are same now you can expand node 7 you can expand it as node 8 and node 9 here what is the condition x4 is equal to 1 and x4 is equal to 0 is the condition over here okay so now let's calculate same upper bound and lower bound for path uh, for node 8 and node 9 okay for node for node 8 what is the path first of all x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 0 and x4 is equal to 1 right so let's write the same thing over here x1 is equal to 1 x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 and x3 is equal to 0 and x4 is equal to 1 so for this path let's do lower bound and upper bound so yeah this is the uh, question so x1 is equal to 1 means 2 pakka so how much more is there 13 so after 2 how m uh, 4 so how much more is there 9 so x3 you should not take it okay no x3 only directly x4 you have to go x4 is how much 9 still exactly 9 is remaining so you can take 9 so weights are minus 10 minus 10 and minus 18 so what is the lower bound minus 10 minus 10 and minus 18 which is equal to minus 38 for upper bound also you will get the same bag right 2 4 9 because there are no fractions sorry because there are no fractions you can directly take it so it will be minus 10 minus 10 minus 18 that is minus 38 so again for node 8 also uh, both upper bound and lower bound are same minus 38 and minus 38 let's write the values so low upper bound of 8 is equal to minus 38 and lower bound of 8 is equal to minus 38 okay now we are remaining with node 9 that's all how do you come to node 9 what is the path x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 0 and x4 is equal to 0 so let's come through that path for node 9 for node 9 what is the path x1 is equal to 1 x2 is equal to 1 x3 is equal to 0 and x4 is equal to 0 so now let's ca calculate lower bound and upper bound for this path 
so lower would be you have to take x1 x2 but you should not take x3 and x4 right so 2 4 you can take but since you are not allowed to take x3 and x4 you can just stop your knapsack over here so what will be the profit in this case minus 10 and minus 10 that's all right that means minus 20 is your lower bound upper bound same you can take only x1 and x2 so 2 4 minus 10 minus 10 so your upper bound will be minus 20 let's write the same values lower bound upper bound both are same so you can write it over here upper bound of 9 is equal to minus 20 lower bound of 9 is equal to minus 20 okay done so this is your state space tree now we are not done yet actually so we have to first compare these two things which is having the lowest lower bound among 8 and 9 this is minus 38 and this is minus 20 so minus 38 is lowest so you have to consider this you can kill this node okay so what is your path now right from the beginning from node 1 from node 1 to node 2 you are coming and then from 2 to 4 4 to 7 and 7 to 8 that means x1 is equal to 1 and then x2 is equal to 1 and then x3 is equal to 0 and then x4 is equal to 1 this is your final path for filling the knapsack and getting maximum profit okay done means you are filling x1 x2 and x4 that means first second and fourth elements are placed into the knapsack okay now what will be the total profit 1 2 4 are placed right so total profit will be what is the profit associated with the first one it's minus 10 with second one minus 10 and with the fourth one minus 18 minus 38 which is nothing but simply plus 38 here we took positives only right so yeah so so, so the total profit is equal to plus 38 and the cap knapsack capacity is also filled why first second fourth right first second fourth 2 plus 4 is 6 6 plus 9 is 15 okay so this is all about this video guys i know it is very 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 long process but you know since it is not having formulas and all you can remember it easily uh, just don't try to neglect it it will take time but it is simple process since there are no formulas you can remember this one easily so yeah let's stop this video over here let's meet up in the next video with fifo branch and bound with zero by one knapsack make sure that you are understanding this video clearly then only you can understand the next one uh, really very easily and very quickly also okay so thanks for watching the video very patiently let's meet up soon the next coming video with another topic